Sangyo, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 10, Exposition of the Entire Bible, reading the verse first from the King James Bible, quote, Who died for us that, whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him, unquote. John Gill, quote, who died for us, the elect of God, who are not appointed to wrath, but to salvation by Christ, on which account he died for them, not merely as a martyr to confirm his doctrine, or only by way of example, but as a surety in the room instead of his people, as a sacrifice for their sins, to make atonement for them, and save them from them, so that his death lays a solid foundation for hope of salvation by him. And whether we wake or sleep, which phrases are to be understood not in the same sense in which they are used in the context, as if the sense was whether a man indulges himself in sin and gives way to sin and sloth and carnal security, or whether he is awake and on his watch and guard, he should, through the death of Christ, have eternal life secured to him, not but that there is a truth in this, that eternal life and salvation by Christ, as it does not depend on our watchfulness, so it shall not be hindered by the sleepy, drowsy frame of spirit the children of God sometimes fall into, but rather natural sleep and waking are intended, and the meaning is that those for whom Christ died are always safe, sleeping or waking, whatever they are about and employed in, and in whatsoever situation and condition they are in this world, though it may be best of all to interpret the words of life and death, and they may have a particular regard to the state of the saints at Christ's second coming, when some will be awake or alive and others will be asleep in Christ or dead. And it matters not whether they are, whether living or dead, See Romans chapter 14, verse 7, for the end of Christ dying for them, and which will be answered in one as well as in another, is that we should live together with him. Christ died for his people who were dead in trespasses and sin, that they might live spiritually a life of sanctification from him, and a life of justification on him and by him, and that they might live life of communion with him, and that they might live eternally with him in soul and body, in heaven and reign with him there, and partake of his glory. And this all the saints will, whether they be found dead or alive, at his coming, for the dead will immediately arise. Those that sleep in the dust will awake at once, and they that are alive will be changed, and both will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and be forever with him. Now the consideration of the death of Christ and this end of it, which will certainly be answered, serves greatly to encourage hope of salvation by him and faith in him and an earnest expectation of his second coming. Unquote. Reading the verse again in King James Version, quote, Who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Unquote. End of John Gill's 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 10.